Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey friends, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Come on in here, this is what we like to call the Bible Bistro. We're going to have us some dinner tonight, I'm telling you, this afternoon, this morning, whenever you're listening, we've got Psalm 62 verses 9 through 12, kind of a big bite for us. When I was dividing up the psalm, boy, it was hard to choose. I wanted to follow the Selahs and the way they divided the psalm, and so that left me with... um, choosing a big bite somewhere or adding some verses which would have messed up the Selah division. So I just chose to put it here at the end because these four verses work very well together. And there's four verses here, so I guess I better get moving so I can get through it all in five minutes. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity." Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God hath spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Should be a Selah there, shouldn't there? All right, we're going to look now at verse 9. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. Now we've seen this word lie before, haven't we? Go up to verse verse four. It says they delight in lies. Who's that? Well, this whoever it is, this enemy that wants to pull down the righteous man from, you know, trusting in the Lord. Well, now we have the men of high degree. They're a lie. So we have people telling lies, people being a lie, and isn't that really the case? The people of high degree think they're something more than they really are. Put in the balances, are they really that significant? No. As a matter of fact, David tells us they're lighter than vanity. Men of low degree are vanity. Men of high degree, they're a lie. If you lay them in the balance, it all comes up vanity. Trust not in oppression, he says there in verse 10, and become not vain in robbery. Well, of course we wouldn't, right? Because that would be breaking the commandments. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. So trust in him at all times, we were told in verse 8. Now we're told to trust not in oppression. Well, what are we to trust in? Well, we're not to trust in riches, are we? He tells us, if riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Why is that? Well, in the book of Proverbs, the scripture tells us that riches have the ability to take wings and fly away. They just can vanish. Poof, in a puff of smoke, they're gone. So trust not in oppression, trust not in vain, trust not in robbery, trust not in riches, because if you set your heart on riches, friends, then you've really gone astray. You have walked away from the Lord. Don't do that. Trust in him and only him. Remember David's admonition to his soul. My soul wait thou only upon God. God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Why does he say that? Well, he just got done talking about riches and robbery and oppression. And he's saying that there's something that's greater than all of that put together, greater than all the wealth in the world, greater than all the robbery that produces that wealth, and greater in all the oppression that produces the robbery and the wealth. All of that combined, God is greater. Power belongs to him. Why should we trust in him? Because all of these other things are vain. They're going to blow away one day, take flight. But God, no, he lasts, and he has the power. What does he have the power to do? Look at verse 12. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy. So power belongs to God, and mercy, power to execute judgment, but also mercy to render to every man, According to his works, yes, but also to render to every man mercy because of his works. I hope you'll go to church this weekend and worship and celebrate the Lord and give him all the glory. And I'll see you next week on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. 
I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.